Lucy has an issue whereby she feels that she's constantly fighting with herself. And no matter what she does do, or no matter what she doesn't do, then there's an internal battle that keeps raging on in terms of inner conflicts and her not knowing what actually makes sense anymore. So where do we begin with this one? Well, we have to identify the fact that we're actually in a position whereby there is an identity crisis. So you've probably been doing your own personal work and you've probably challenged your belief structures, your systems and mental thought processes amongst other things. And what that then leads to is a clash of identity whereby you're operating from the old place, which is how you assume and how you thought everything functioned, worked and ran. But then what you've also got is you've got a between worlds phase whereby you haven't yet created the identity that then comes from the work that you have been doing and actually is functional where you come to move forward and progress in your own development and your own experience. And because you have this inner conflict and the reason it is a feeling is because it's actually a nervous system response. And the feeling element is the internal, which is the nervous system. And what this is, is it's a lack of safety and a lack of knowing exactly how things are going to pan out and how things are actually going to move. So when we have this nervous system response, we're constantly in a position whereby we're in fight or flight or freeze or fawn mode. And because you're flitting between each of these to try and make something functional that doesn't yet function, you then don't know where to begin and you also feel as though you are constantly fighting with yourself. But you're basically fighting the old identity that is yourself from your understanding of it, but is actually not yourself because ultimately that's the person that you had to be in order to previously function. And that person can no longer come with you anymore. And that person has to actually fade away and be incorporated within the bigger picture self in order to then get to a position whereby you're actually developing and you're actually growing. And therefore you're creating new experiences for you to step into and ultimately create further growth and development. So. Where do you start with this? You have to have the compassion for yourself to realize that that's exactly what's going on. You have to also not expect anything to be different, but you also have to remember the fact that if you're now looking to start, you've already started. So there is a psychological element and a psychological aspect of it that actually comes into play because if you've already started the process, which is why you're aware of needing to start somewhere, then you've actually already moved from the psychological aspect and the place where you believe you are. And as with everything, you either know where you are and therefore you don't know where you're going or you're moving and therefore you're never stationary. So you can't know where you are. And then this concept then plays around with the psychological element because of the fact that you either need to know one of them or you need to be in a position to be able to work out one of them. And then from that place, you can start creating and you can start putting things into place and into motion to then move you forward and therefore correct the underlying issue in the first place. But when we don't know either of these because we have this psychological block, then the question becomes, how do we remove the psychological block? Because we have to then go, well, actually, I now need to choose where I am. And in choosing where I am, then I need to work out what I'm then going to do in terms of next steps moving forward. And in terms of next steps moving forward, I then have to work towards the bigger picture element that I may or may not know. So we then have to break it down into smaller steps and we then have to go, well, what's the next logical step that I can take? So the next logical step that you can take is to start reviewing and looking at anything and everything that doesn't work and then spending a bit of time to work out not how it works, but how you want it to work. 
And then because you're working out how you want it to work, then you're gonna be in a position to then understand why you potentially created the circumstances in the first place. And when we get back to the why, that then allows us to have a sense of peace and enlightenment because we get the bigger picture. This is why I'm doing something. So it's like finding your purpose or giving something your actual full attention to the place of, well, hold on, this now makes sense because everything ultimately is logical but you have to know enough about something in order for the pieces of the jigsaw to then all be visible in order for it to then be logical, which is also why they say hindsight is 2020 vision and why whenever you look back on something, you can always work out exactly what should have happened and whether or not it was ideally placed for it to happen in that manner. So there's something to think about, but as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.